Paint Shop Pro X7 Ultimate. This is a 64-bit version. It's a very easy program to get used to working with. It's very user-friendly. When you first open it, you'll see that it looks like this with a preview box in this area. Now what we want to do is change this to a preview mode. In this mode, you'll see we have a preview here and we'll have thumbnails down here. So let's open a new folder. here and apparently we had the camera at a little bit of an angle so right up here in the straighten tool picture is level we get down here to the smart photo fix and click suggest settings now this will change the brightness, shadows, highlight, saturation, and it'll also change the uh, white.
Let's go back to what we just did. That looks pretty good. Now, if you want to open up any other plugins and work on them, you'll see Topaz Labs in here. I don't have all of them uh, loaded into the program, so let's go put one in there to see how you do that. Preferences, go down here to File Locations. Now here's all the plugins that we have in here. Need to, let's go over to this one. You need to double click on it. Alright, now that brought it up and opened it. It doesn't look bad, but it looks a little dull. Go to perfect.
let's go back here. Now this is a pretty dull looking picture to me. Let's run this through perfectly clear. Now you can change the settings in perfectly clear and you know raise the shadow areas and do whatever you want like that. But this is usually a pretty good fix. Here's another example. I think that's going to look a lot better. That brought back the colors and the brush and the dirt. But the horizon's a little off in this, I just noticed. So let's straighten that out. That looks much better. Alright, that's pretty much what a lot of the simpler things you can do with the program. We've showed you how to add uh, plugins to it, which a lot of people don't know how to do that. It's very simple. There's other things in here. You can take this up to one by one and see exactly what you have in here. Now we've looked at this full size. It looks like you might be able to sharpen this a little bit. use this on Facebook or on your website or something it, this would work real good for that there's a lot of other things in this program I'm not going to get into but these are Now this will give you a pretty good idea how easy this program is to work with and how flexible it is. The main thing is it's user friendly. Alright, thanks for joining us.